guys welcome back today is going to be the day the day that you guys have been asking and asking for i'm finally going to film my whole entire purse collection for you guys Whew, i have so much anxiety right now it's really funny i don't know how i'm gonna start but i have bags by me and they're going to be in no particular order because there just can't be, okay? Because I'm not that organized. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to, I guess, start with some of the bags that are more recent. Uh, because I haven't ever put them away in, like, my last hauls. So, that's what I'm going to start with. And I also brought out some bags that are uh, not hardly ever used that I might be getting rid of uh, out of my master bedroom, uh, like really old purses. So I'm kind of happy I'm doing this because I want to declutter. So that's going to help me. So yeah, so grab yourselves a coffee, tea, drink, whatever you guys are drinking on, some water. And a snack or whatever. Uh, I have my, I stopped, we took my daughter to school and it's like a thing now. I have to go to Dunkin' and get a uh, coffee. This is their uh, turtle ice signature latte. And I think they put something in here so that you keep buying them. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. So, <clears throat> let's get started because I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't, I also don't know if this is going to be a part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. I literally don't know. So we're going to get into it. But before we start, this box showed up and I don't know what's in it, but I think I know what's in it. And if it is what I think it is, it's perfect for this video. So I'm going to open this really quick, see if it's what I think it is. And if it is what I think it is, that's bad because I don't think I'm supposed to be using a boy. It literally says to avoid cutting on the top. It's like a whole notice on there. And I'm over here yeah, pretty much doing the opposite of what it said. If you guys are new here, then hey girl, hey. I'm Evita. And I like to film girly stuff. Lots of girly stuff. Uh, pink's my favorite color. And... You should consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope you enjoy seeing all of these bags that not one person in the whole world should have this many of. But I like purses. Don't we all? I mean, really. Don't we all? No, this isn't what I thought it was. So we're going to move on. It's part of... You know what? Let me just show you guys. Because y'all are probably like, wait, what? This is supposed to be a whole separate video. That's why I was like, it's not. Anyway, this is a purse organizer for a MM tote uh, that a company sent me. It's such a beautiful baby pink. And it's just an organizer. Right now, there's stuffing in there. But when I film that video, you guys will see. But, man, I thought that was something else. Okay, so let's start. Like I said, I'm going to start with some of the recent bags. Ooh, this one looks cute with my outfit today, black. So this Juicy Couture quilted half moon. I don't know the name of this style. Yeah, it actually says half moon. So this is a half moon crossbody juicy puff quilted black. And I got her from Burlington for $19.99. It has a gold chain, all the gold details. It has the thick strap comes with a little coin purse i've been seeing people cutting these straps off y'all i'm like oh you just cut like five dollars like no like don't use it if you don't want to use this and let it hang or tuck it in i'm not cutting my purse like no way no ma'am and then what happens if you decide oh man i wanted that strap so no i, I won't be cutting my strap but yeah that's the first bag Of course, I have it in this beautiful pink shade. Uh, this is more like a mauvey, rosy pink. It's not a, like, it's it's called Blush is the shade name. So, same bag, same half moon 
quilted puff. I love the little coin pouch, by the way, that's on these. And this doesn't have that quilted front. It's just like a really, really soft, like, leather fill. Uh, so that is the second one. I have this beautiful Juicy Couture bag. It's a little... It's a little shoulder bag is what we're going to call her. And this is in like their macaroon color. And the chain. This was also at Burlington for $19.99. I have her in black as well. And... See, these bags still have tags and still have wrapping. So if you guys are new to my channel and this is the first video you've seen, I just recently hauled these probably in like my last video. So they're not put away. So that's why I'm starting with these. Uh, $19.99 from Burlington. Um, I've heard these are available at like TJ Maxx as well. Next, this was the bag that I was... Uh, currently using before basically I was using this very recently I still have stuff in there but I'm using another bag so I kind of like using two right now you know so this is a little marshmallow bag this was sent to me by a seller uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to link a lot of stuff because this video is too much and I'm not going to remember what I said so if you guys want links or anything, you will have to comment and then I'll send them as you guys are commenting. Uh, I just have a little cute Karomi over there and a My Melody uh, little plushie on each side. This is in the, I believe it's Sunrise Pastel is the pattern or shade. And this is uh, obviously LV inspired and it's called the Marshmallow Bag. I love this bag and it has a bigger strap. I have this print in other bags. You guys will see if I ever get to those in this video. Um, next, this is the other little bag that I have stuff in because I'm kind of using off and on. I grab this bag a lot. This, um, did I ever keep the tag to this to see what it's called? I like to cut my tags off and stick them down in my back pocket in case I need to know the color or the style name. So, like, say I'm in love with this bag and I want this in, like, black. Um, like, I do know that they make this in here. So, if I ever wanted to find this, I know what I'm searching for. This is a uh, chestnut chino. So, this is the chestnut chino is, like, this brownish color. All of their bags are called chestnut. And then when it's chino, it's that print. Um, items, shoulder bag. So, I would be looking for item shoulder bag and like black logo or something basically if I wanted this in another color but I can't remember where I found this one um it was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls I don't think I got this at Burlington um and I love the shade of pink that's on this one it just has the black and the white on the inside sorry I'm not showing a lot of the insides uh it would just take too long but this one i love wearing this it's like very easy to just like use so i've been using this one a lot i think that's like basically everything that's in front of me minus this one is still here uh this also is one of the newer ones this is the one that has the like gold beading and this is called the obsession satchel and this is in their taffy shade. And I did get this one as well at Burlington. This was $27.99. Still has the tag. And this one has the thicker strap as well. So this is called their satchel. Um, I call these speedies because they remind me of like an LV speedy bag. So I always refer to this as like my little pink juicy speedy. But it's juicy calls it a satchel. So... That's what it looks like. They also have this in black. And I believe the beading is also gold on there. I'm still on the hunt for that one. I haven't found it yet. Um, This one is also newer. This little Steve Madden super blinged out. Uh, it's like a very 
I quilted or I'm not sure. This one they call their Bee Storm Blush Multi Bag. And it does come with a thicker strap as well. Someone said they got a kick out of me because I was like, what the heck does that say? It's too many letters. I can't read it. <laughs> and I still can't. And I still don't know what it says. Uh, this little zipper pouch also is connected on here. I love when they have these little zippers because I feel like you get a free little uh, wallet with your bag. So I don't like carrying them on there because it just is too much weight on the strap. I'd rather it be on the inside so I am gonna probably take it off when I use it and stick it inside but this is just so freaking cute and I love I don't understand why it's called blush because this is not blush this is like a beige this is a very neutral color so that's why I got it because I feel like it'll go with anything that I have and I love the gold details obviously I'm a gold detail chick uh, I don't know if you consider this a purse but this has been hanging here since I went to Claire's and bought it, uh, I love pink and I love anything that's furry, sherpa, fuzzy. And I wanted this. I love that it has a gold heart once again with the gold details. And this is just like a little tote. And yes, I have stuff in here because I like to store stuff. Um, this is an A. My daughter's name is Aria. And um, I wanted this in an E for me, but. A was the closest and this and this is supposed to be my daughter's but yes it's in my room because I wanted it I really wanted it um, and she hasn't asked for it yet to use it but the little uh, coin pouch is so cute with a little pearl detail and then it does have the clip and this is like a pearl detail too and it does come with a thicker strap as well with gold detail so that's all on the inside and it just has like a clip like that and this is from Claire's so we picked this up when she got her ears pierced this was $34.99 we got like 20% off that day so whatever 20% off is now where's the next bags okay so those are the really cute like kind of uh trendy bags we're gonna start with some of the stuff that i got out of my master bedroom that's really old and stuff that i've had for way too long and we need to make a decision and some of them are going to be very dusty because they were on a shelf that haven't been touched for like five six ten years um yeah really dusty I literally threw them all in a bucket and was like, let's go. And I was like, wow, that's so much dust. So if I start coughing, y'all. All right. So the first bag. Man, is this like supposed to be like that? I don't know. So this bag is, um, what is this print call? Monogram, Coach's Monogram, uh, and this is like a leather, not a white, well, it's like a, I mean, not like nylon, it's leather. And I used to always want a bag that had something to match. So, like, if I had red on, this was the bag that I would grab. Um, let me show you guys the style. And I do have stuffing in some of these, and I do store, like, the matching accessory in there. So, this is, like, the wallet. Um, it's a zipper style. So, I have the matching wallet for this one. And this is how the inside looks. It has a back pocket. And it has more pockets. There is no uh, slit in here. It's just like one big giant compartment. And it does have like the back slot where I will put my phone. And then it has a front slot as well. Like, I really do like this bag. I still have the receipt. That's another thing. I used to like keep my receipts inside of the bags. Um, but what I did like also about this is if you see each one of these has a zipper. So you have like more space on it. So. 
so you have the big pocket and then you have these zippers on the side and then this one is like a snap close kind of a bag yeah so and I do have just like this little pom-pom it's like a little pearled little bunny and yeah so this is one of the coach bags that I have and I have so many like you used to stuff them so they will keep their shape. Y'all, I'm going to be running out of room here real soon. Alright, let's go to most of these that are that I'm going to show you guys now are like Coach or like Michael Kors, I think. So, this one is a black Coach bag. And this one's like a fabric material. And then this part is leather, as you guys can see. Uh, you can unclip this and make it a long, like a, um, what am I trying to say? Deeper, I guess. So see, I can unclip it on both sides and make it like more roomy. Or if you want to like clip it and make it look uh, more, you know what I'm trying to say? And it has a zipper top. And this is silver. It does have, like all of the coach bags have this little dog tag style. So, unzip this, and then I do have this one stuffed as well. It's just one giant hole, and it has pockets. I'm trying to see if there's any accessories in here to show you guys. There's not. It's just stuffing. All of the bags inside, most bags all have, like, bag pockets and um, front pockets once you open them. But this one is really dusty. I don't know if you guys can see, but like the leather part, it's so dusty. So yeah, so this is one that I'm probably going to part with. Uh, I haven't used this in a very long time. And yeah, I'm probably not planning on it. This one is like a little, like a handbag because I don't see where a bigger strap goes. So this is like how you wear this one. It does have feet and like little leather on the bottom as well uh, let's see I got this little so some of these bags I'm going to list on my Poshmark and some of them I'm going to donate to like Goodwill this is a like crocodile style guest bag I used to be so into like all the pretty guest bags uh, this is like a black crocodile and I'm going to unzip it. It has like cheetah print, like cheetah lining on the inside. I'm probably going to take this one and donate it to the gut wheel. There's like nothing in here but stuffing. And yeah, it's in really good shape. I just, I don't reach for it at all. And if I'm going to reach for a black bag, now it's going to be my new black juicies. Uh, but yeah, and then it does have like rhinestones, so it's a really cute bag. I like it a lot. Just don't reach for it. Um, back to the, I needed a bag to match whatever color I was wearing. Air. Um, I do also have this Coach um, monogram print. Now this one is like the fabric, where the other one was like a like a leather does have the green like the emerald green dog tags I also had a little matching pom-pom on this one and yeah I think I'm gonna probably keep my green and red one for now I'm not sure I haven't made up my mind but this one has like this pretty like crocodile print right here too this is really soft like leather feel the little coach logo and ow i don't know what this is on the inside i guess it's a little makeup bag I'm not really sure like i said i haven't used these in forever i do have the matching uh wallet to this one it's a crocodile soft print and it has so many pockets and that's a back pocket right there too I'm hot y'all and this bag is one of those that has like the in the middle 
so you have like this side and this side these bags are really good like if you work and you have like a tablet or something like these are nice like work size uh bags when i used to have like an office job when i worked at the bank these are like the bags that i would take because i had so much because i had my own desk and i had so much stuff to take to work every day so i really enjoy this one so I'm probably going to keep that one. Whew, guys, I'm legit sweating. I should probably turn on my fan. Everybody take a sip. Okay, I just wet myself. Um, Alright, this one. Oh my god. Yeah. We're, we're going to skip this and we're not even going to talk. We're not even going to look at that one. That one is going in the trash. Oh my God, these bags are so dusty. This is one of my favorite bags. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of it, even though. When's the last time I used it? Shucks, I don't know. This is like a little Michael Kors um, nylon bag. That's why I like it because it's like a nylon material and you guys it's so comfortable like it's just an easy bag to use i love the like blue with the brown so much this needs to be wiped down though like you guys can see it's dusty but this bag i've i used to use this so much it has a zip top that's also why i like it because it's like a, just a giant nylon tote and the inside is just like beige and it has the pockets on the side the back pockets just has tissue i don't think i had any matching accessories to this it's just really stuff but yeah this one um like it goes with everything it's like it's blue and brown like it matches everything and it's michael kors i like the little zipper pull and i have more night nylon Michael Kors nylon bags that we'll get to in some part of the video. Um, but yeah, this is a really good bag. And I'm keeping that one for sure. Oh my gosh, why are these bags so dusty? They're making me like, <gasps> have so much anxiety. Alright, let's talk about this one. Why, why did it get so crushed? Gosh, all I did was throw it into a bucket a bucket that's been sitting in my hallway for a week because i was like i'm gonna film this so this bag is an aldo bag that i never wore i went crazy when i saw this i was like this is the most beautiful bag like i love the tritone it has like this beautiful beige off-white color this beautiful caramel brown this black and then it has gold hardware look at this beautiful lock detail that says Aldo, a little coin purse. I just love it. Why is it shaped like this right now? I have no idea. Like, seriously. I never even used this bag. I just threw it in the bucket. Um, It has this back zipper pocket. It's already unzipped. And then, it's not in here, but I have the matching wallet. But, of course, I have wallets in here that I didn't know I had. What are these? Why why does this still have a tag on it? This is a Victoria's Secret wallet that has a tag on there. I, I don't know. It's a wallet. It has a mirror. And it's Victoria's Secret. And it's pretty. And I didn't know I had this. So, oops. Okay. And, uh, yeah, there's another brand new Victoria's Secret one that I did not know that I had either. Oops. It looks like the same style. It has the XO mirror. Um, yeah. Okay, well, these are gonna make their way into my wallet drawer because I didn't know I had those. But the matching all the wallets not in here and I bought it because I remember I flipped out because I saw, first I saw the wallet in the store and I was like, this is so cute. And then I went to the back looking at shoes and I saw the person. I literally ran, jetted back to the front to grab the wallet because it was only one of the wallet. So yeah, I know where it is. It's in the, in my master. 
But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of this because I, I'm telling you, I went crazy over it, but <coughs> I'm kind of confused why this is a really hard bag, like hard leather. Why is it so, like what's happening? How am I going to shape this bag? Like, this is Aldo for crying out loud. Maybe this is why we're supposed to stuff our bags. I don't know. I'm going to give this to my husband and ask him if he can fix the shape like it fucking feels weird. I don't know. Like, look at that. What? I don't know. But yeah, that's a beautiful bag. And I got that on sale, too. That's why I, like, ran because the wallet was, like, on clearance. I don't know where this just fell out of, but it's a little brown coach wristlet. Um, came out of one of these bags. Um, now this isn't really, it's not really inspired. Um, well, I guess it is. Um, you know what I mean? Like how I get bags sent to me by sellers, but I, I bought this at like a flea market kind of a situation before I even had YouTube and before I knew that people like sold inspired bags like I found this at like a flea market and it was just a beautiful white bag and I was like I don't have a lot of white bags this is beautiful for summer this is a really soft leather and it has the MK logo in gold as you guys can see I never use it and it still has a freaking price tag on there and the back pocket and I did buy that day the matching like wallet with gold detail. This is a big chunky wallet. Um, still has all the plastic wrapping and stuff in here. Um, and it's like a double zipper wallet. But yeah, I did buy the matching MK wallet. And then I had this in here too that came with it it's like a little like a cosmetic pouch but i was like it's like you get a free bag because this is a big enough to be a bag on its own and it has the things here that you can make this into like a crossbody and i'm like this is really nice material too but yeah i just like housed it in here inside of the bag and yeah because these clips right here they come off so that's why I was like, I could take this off and put it on the other bag. Like this one is more structured and the other one's more slouchy. But yeah. Um, this is probably going to be donated to Goodwill. And the day that I bought it, it came with this little fabric thing. And I literally, because it was white, I didn't want it to like get dirty or tarnish. So I've had it in my closet probably for over 10 years I'm not even joking inside of this little thing so yeah this one is making its way to Goodwill I literally forgot I had it um alright this one is one of my favorites too but good lord it's so dusty so dusty Y'all, I'm going to start coffee here in a minute. Like, how do you dust bags off? Like, I don't know if I should have grabbed, like, a wet cloth. But, this bag was expensive. Uh, this is a leather coach bag. Uh, it's like a black crocodile. And it's like a large tote. But, it's like a mixed, mixed bag. Like, this right here is, like velvet or velour um it's like a really nice soft material i don't know what it's called suede it's like suede and then like i said this is like real like crocodile and yeah crocodile and suede and coach this was like one of those like 700 dollars bags and then i got it for like almost three which was still so much money it was like 300 dollars, but i wanted it so bad when i saw it so it has this strap and then it also has, like, you can hold it like this. I remember the first day I took this to work, um, my work bestie was like, I want that right now. She was like, let me have it. I was like, do you know how much I paid for this? No way. I was like, you can borrow it. Um, This, like, gold 
dog tag. Like, most of their dog tags are like a fabric, but this one's like a gold plate. Um, and then it has like, when you open it, it has the clip to like close it. And it's just a really huge bag. The inside has like cheetah. And so inside, I forgot this was in here. I'm so happy I'm doing this. Inside is my very first coach bag that when I graduated high school, my stepmom bought me. My stepmom is the reason I got into coach in the first place. Um, <coughs> she was so bougie. Uh, but yeah, she always had coach and Dooney and Burke bags and I used to always like her bags. And I wanted a coach bag. And when I graduated high school, she bought me a coach bag. And I would never wear a bag this small now. But I can't get rid of it. It's sentimental. Like, it's my very first coach bag. And it was a graduation present. So, this is like, if you guys know coach, this is like one of their, like, first kinds of styles that they had. So, it's like actual real leather. And the inside... It's like that soft material they have. And yeah, it's really small. But back then, I hardly carried anything. So it was like the perfect. I was so happy to get this bag. And it just like snaps closed. And then it had a back pocket as well. So yeah, so I'll never get rid of this for sentimental reasons, obviously. My mother... And my stepmom are both not with me, so I have to keep that. And then, I'm not sure. I think this is the little coin bag that goes with this. The, like, because it has that suede material. It's just like a little zipper pouch. It's suede. It says coach. And it has, like, the little gold. So, yeah. So, this bag... I'm keeping. I need to dust it and put it in like a dust bag because all of these bags, I have so many dust bags, but I just, so in my master closet, we have shelves on top and I just set all my bags straight across so I could see them. But I guess that was a bad idea because I guess the dust from the closet when you don't use bag for 20 years just uh, happens. Now this bag is going in the garbage but I'm very highly disappointed and I wanted to show you guys this so that you guys could see either this was a really bad bag or it wasn't by the sun because like I just told you it was in my master I don't have a window in my closet so very disappointed in coach this pink bag is not supposed to have turned yellow this was white and um, it happened fairly, um, what am I trying to say? Like after I purchased it, it happened really quickly. I only had it like a year and it had already turned yellow like that, which I'm like, that's, it looks disgusting. Like this, all of this pink is fine, like the material, but everywhere where it was white turned this yellow. Like the other side of the strap is the color it was, but it all turned yellow and that's weird since this is an authentic coach bag from the coach store even the dog tag was white and it turned yellow so i mean it's not worth it to me to go to the store and like complain about it um i'm just gonna get rid of the bag but i wanted to show you guys that like have you guys ever seen that happen and i mean it's just a big hole i call them a big hole on the inside but yeah this was um this is how the bag looks it was a nice color pink with their little monogram and i like the little white in it but yeah that was really sad i'm actually gonna put this one closer to the door so i can just toss it i'm gonna have so much of this stuff left over Okay, this bag, oh my god, I wore this bag so much that it just, I love this bag so much, but I think I am going to get rid of it finally. I had a good run with this baby. I'm like checking to see if stuff's in it because I'm going to put it in the Goodwill pile when I'm done. 
Um, so this is a Steve Madden bag. I'm telling you guys, I was huge into Steve Madden before it came back viral. I have a lot of Steve Madden bags. But this little Steve Madden bag, I love the shape. It was different. Um, this is like a, it's like a grayish taupey color. But you see this like zipper detail? You can like zip it around and like make it like smaller, more structured, um, if you will. But obviously I like, like, I liked it a little bit wider so I kept it unzipped. It has this like pretty, I don't know, pattern on the inside. And it's just kind of dirty on the inside. I do have the matching steve madden wallet to this one that's what it looks like and it's just like a gold on the inside lots of pockets but yeah i'm gonna put this one in the goodwill uh pal i'm pretty sure someone at the goodwill would enjoy having i'm gonna keep the wallets in here and hopefully the goodwill store like keeps them together so that the person can have it because, I mean, if they separate them, the person, two different people might buy it. So, I'm going to keep them tucked in there and hopefully they get the wallet with it. But, yeah, this is the front of the bag. I don't know why it looks so wrinkly, but it has a Steve Madden on there. And it's like a little pebbled uh, design. And then it does even come with another strap. And this is what the little hooks look like. But you could strap this and make it longer. So that's something in my eye um but yeah i had the, the longer strap on the inside with the wallet so i'm gonna put this back in here so i should have been making a goodwill a goodwill pal and a garbage pal and a keep pal but i don't have that much room on my floor so i'm gonna have to figure that back out again this one i haven't made up my mind on um, if it's gonna go on my, po I think this one might go on my Poshmark. So this little coach bag was my boss's at my, um, previous job when I worked at the bank. And she was the one that would buy a new coach bag, like literally every month. And when she got tired of one, she was over it. And I was obsessed with this the day that she bought it. I was like, oh my God, that bag is so pretty. I want it. And... She sold it to me like right when she was ready to get her new bag for like $100. She's like, give me $100. You can have it uh, with the matchy little coin purse. So, it's just a little coin bag. And yeah, this one is just like a really huge hole. <laughs> take all the stuffing out so you guys can see it just a really big hole with pockets on the side and it's a beautiful bag it's just i don't wear it like this anymore like i used to when i work at the bank like dressed up obviously and i would be the person who would wear like uh a fuchsia colored dress pants and like a black blouse or a tan blouse and I will wear like a matching purse but I don't dress like that anymore for like my Amazon warehouse job and during the day I'm casual so I don't really match my bags like this anymore um but this is a really pretty print this is a, like a nylon wipeable material and I like this little swoopy design it's a really nice bag it has a back pocket on it so this one's probably gonna go on the Poshmark because I feel like someone would actually really like that one. And it's in great condition. Um, next, I have this like blush colored Michael Kors bag. Um, it looks almost like nude. It looks very washed out on camera. But this is an actual very pastel light pink color. And this is like just a... Like a I don't know the, the style name on this one. This one was given to me by my friend at work. Actually at my current job, Amazon. Um, this is the inside. If you can see like the details, it is pink. And I have the matching. This style wallet is really pretty. Um, it's like really thin. 
I never saw this style until she gave it to me. I was like, I like this. I don't like big bulky wallets anymore, so that's why I normally buy card holders. Back in the day, I used to love the bigger the wallet, the better, because I had so many cards, and I would be the person in a store with like 40 credit cards. Like, why? Why do you need that many when you're going to one store? But now, I just like really small card holders. Take my, my license, my debit card, and like one or two cards with me. And I like this because it's so, so thin. But yeah, um, I got this. And this was actually a funny story. So I give her stuff all the time because she's skinnier than me. So like if I buy a pair of jeans and they don't fit, I'm lazy and I don't want to return it. I'm like, here, um, you can fit these. You can have them. And she's like, really? So this bag is like have you guys ever had an ex that bought you a bag and then you're like i don't want that bad mo mojo what do you call it bad vibes in like my uh life so this was a bag that was gifted to her by one of her exes and she was like i don't want to throw it away she was like you like pink and you like michael Kors. she's like you have it i love that it has feet so that's why she gave me this bag she's like here take it take the wallet i don't want it so haven't used it yet but this is really nice and it has a zipper top so i feel like i am gonna use this really soon because i like this style and i like the wallet a lot so you guys that's everything that was in this tote um i'm gonna pause reassess throw some stuff back in this bin and then come back with a few more bags and then i don't know we're already at 40 minutes i don't know if we should continue and make this like a four hour video I really don't know, um, but we might have to do another part. So, but for right now, let me uh, grab some more bags. I almost forgot while I had these. I kind of take took these out and threw them down because they were so dusty. I have these two, a brown one and a black one. Um, this is like another Coach monogram style, but they're the same exact style um, bag. This brown one, I'm going to show you guys how much dust. The reason why I kind of skipped over it. Look at the top. So, I'm sure I can just obviously grab a rag and wipe them down. But they're so dusty from my closet. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this uh, this one and the black one I'm going to put on my Poshmark too. Because I'm not going to use these towels anymore. But, um, it's just... It zips on the top. It's a huge bag. It's very um roomy. And <coughs> so when you unbuckle it, there is a pocket here on the front side too. So that's why the big buckle is there. And then that's the main zipper pocket. And then in the back, there's a snap pocket. So you have like three sections on this bag. It's really really roomy and this is uh like their cloth um kind of bag like that is dust you guys i wonder if i wipe it you can see the actual color difference yeah <laughs> you guys so yeah <sighs> it's giving me anxiety and then that was the black one it's exactly the same as the brown one uh, yeah, okay, so let me grab some more bags. Okay, I got some more bags. Um, this little Burberry bag, I wear this a lot when it's fall. Um, this is, I usually call it, like, my fall bag. I usually bring it out around the fall time, but this is the Burberry that's, like, tan and pink, obviously. I like it because it's pink. It's, um, a wipeable material and that's the inside it's big uh this is a authentic burberry bag and let me close it it does have a back pocket and tan straps i just love how neutral it is and i just have like this little keychain thing that i had uh, so yeah, so got that one. Here is another juicy bag that still has the tags that I've had for a very long time. Uh, this one I got at Marshalls for twenty four ninety nine. This is the blush 
Lush Faux Fur Collection Backpack. Um, and yeah, it's just the faux fur. Has the Juicy logo in. Um, I just realized that's a matching card holder and I didn't even know until just now looking at that. This is one of my favorite card holders. Never noticed that it's the same style. Huh. Very interesting. So, yeah. I don't like that the backpack straps are black. I wish they were pink. And they're like this like nylon material. But has this little cute heart on there. And yeah. I was trying to get everything in this collection. This like faux fur pink. But I only have this and like Walmart bag. Uh, I didn't pull it down. We haven't got there yet. Uh, next, I have this uh, coach bag. I think this is the Rowan uh, satchel is the style name. Uh, but this one is in a pretty... They have several different shades of pink. Don't know if this is the pink lemonade. Let's see if I have it. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it is the Rowan. Um, this is bubblegum is the pink for this shade and it does have the bigger strap in here that's like sticking out because I have it tucked inside so it does have the bigger strap where you can put them here obviously in there but I like to carry this one <coughs> like that when I use it and I did add my own pearl it has the little dog tag which all the coach bags do it has a zipper in the front I have this in another color, which is buried in that closet, so I haven't got there yet. Um, but I will get to it eventually. Um, next, we have this juicy bag. This I call a hobo. I'm not sure uh, the actual name, but it's just like the same kind of style as that other one that I showed you guys. Um, I like this style a lot. And I don't think I've used this one yet, though. This one I got from JCPenney. And it is like a little pink pebbled material with gold. And the JCPenney bags mostly all have this print, like white with the crowns on it. It says Juicy back there. That's a little zipper pocket. I like when the chains, when the straps has a little bit of chain and then a little bit of that. Because the full chain is uncomfortable, but when you have this, it's comfortable. But I love the chain detail. So, I got that one from JC. And then I also got this one from JC Penny. It's like the same shade of pink, but the style, this one is more, like, funky. It has um, all the, like, zipper details in it. Um, but it's the same pink and, like, the same, like, pebbled. When I say pebbled, I mean like it's not a smooth. It has like that in it. Um, and then this one doesn't have a chain strap. It just has that full strap. And it does zip. So I bought this one first. I saw this one first. And then I saw the other one. And if I had saw this one first, I probably wouldn't have got this one. Um, but I have them both. So also it has the same print, like I said. And it has the pink. And this one also comes with a longer strap that you would put here. But I'm just going to wear this as like a little shoulder bag. But they do have long crossbody straps if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody. Usually I keep the straps inside until the day I'm going to wear it. Because then I need the room inside the bag to put my wallet and stuff. And then I'll just like... If this was the bag I was going to use, I'll take the strap out, put it on my dresser, fill her up. And then when I come home to put her back, then I'll put the strap back in there so I don't lose them. So I got that. Here is one of my favorite bags in the whole wide world. I'm so dramatic. This is my little uh, Tootsie bag, barrel bag, whatever you guys want to call it. But this is the same print as this one. Uh, the same uh, chestnut chino print with the same color pink because you know they have several different pinks um so i think this is pink lemonade is the shade of this pink so it has a little juicy logo there i do have a little hello kitty i was looking for this little hello kitty 
um, plushy on there. Those are the ones that come in like uh, these little blind boxes, the plush danglers. And that's what the inside looks like. And it has a back pocket. So like the ones that aren't JCPenney, they're black and white inside, but they say J uh, Juicy Couture, where the JCPenney ones have the crown on there, on the inside. Uh, it comes with... Oh, I'm all tangled up, girls. I'm all tangled up. So this comes with this long crossbody. And this one you can't remove. I did see people cutting this one off too because they didn't like it. Um, I also don't care for this strap um, because I just don't. Um, so I added this gold chain. I thought it would look a little bit better uh, with the gold chain. So I actually added it. And instead of me cutting the original one and just using the chain, I just double them up. And I like the way it looks a lot better um, with both of the straps on there. So, I keep it like that. And I usually wear it like that. And then, when I don't want to wear it like that, I'll just actually grab these, flip them up, and just carry it like that. Like, all of these in one hand. Like that. Which is how I wear it most of the time. It's like that. I love this bag so much. This is the bag that I'm on the hunt for in this quilted print this print is going to be very um going around right now i guess trendy uh i thought it was just in this half moon shape bag and in this style but apparently they have a backpack and they have a tote bag i've seen so far i don't think i want the tote bag um and i don't think i want the backpack because i have enough juicy backpacks um clearly i just showed you guys the furry one that I haven't even taken the tag off yet and I have quite a few more juicy backpacks that I haven't used yet so I don't think I want them but I do want that moon half moon that I got and I do want this style I call this a barrel bag a tootsie roll bag it looks like a little tootsie roll right that's why I call it the tootsie bag um so I'm looking for this bag in that quilted print in pink and black they have it in both colors so but yeah this i love this bag i do have the i feel like a bag could be trendy for like two minutes and then it's like move on this was like all the buzz just a couple of months ago and now it's all of the new stuff but i do have this a little juicy bowler bag that's like black and pink and this because it's this is like literally y2k vibes they had bags like this back in the day um but yeah i never found this one in the store i did go ahead and buy it off of mercari i got it for a really good price so love how this zipper like comes down and over like this detailing on here is so cute the little flap and i have not used this one yet and yeah she's black and white on the inside so this is a really cute bag i like it um so far i've just had it as decor on my shelf but yeah comes with a pink crossbody strap and it's very long and adjustable so got that one uh next i have my other little lv marshmallow bag that is the same bag as this one that I showed you guys previously. I forget what this one is called. That was Pastel Sunrise. I forget the shade name for this one. Um, but this is also LV inspired, non authentic. I was sent this. Um, I haven't used this since Christmas, so I have clearly a Christmas tree keychain on it. Um, I don't think there's anything inside. I don't even, I didn't stuff this one, but I do have like the little dust bag in there. And that's it. This one was sitting on my Ikea shelf too. I really, really enjoy the marshmallow style bag. That's why I wanted that pastel one because I liked this one so much when I was in it. Um, it's very roomy and I like, I just like it. <coughs> I cannot think of the name of that color. Um... 
I don't know. But my coffee is so good. Next, I have my Marc Jacobs the tote bag. I was like, I have to say the, the tote bag. This is um, a Sherpa one or fuzzy one. I don't know. Um, this is an authentic. I feel like I have to say that because I have so many unauthentic. So I want to let you guys know when I have one that is. This one also is an authentic. Um, my husband bought me this one. I think it was for Christmas. I can't remember. This past Christmas maybe. I only got to wear it a couple of times because uh, I just have too many bags and it does come with this bigger strap. I've seen a lot of people buying like straps off of Amazon, different straps and changing them. So I'm going to switch out the strap because I don't really like the black strap. But yeah, this is... And I think this is, um, mm, so I think they have like micro and minis and different sizes. I think this might be a a mini tote bag. I don't think it's micro, but I think it's the mini. And it has, I don't know what this is because I thought it was a pocket at first. I'm like, what do you put here? Like, any, it, I don't know what goes there, but yeah, I do like it. And this is going to be a nice fall bag for me. Um, I have this, uh, Kusan, LV Cousin, Kusan, Cousin, I don't know the the proper way to pronounce it, but it comes with this thicker strap that I can read. This one says Louis Vuitton, Louis, Louis, um, and then it has the pretty monogram logo uh you know the logo and this is a uh, inspired and it has like the all of this going on but it's one zipper but it's so big on the inside and it's yeah i was like it's red inside so it has all those compartments it's very spacious what i like the most about it is um the chain detail and thicker strap really like that and I did get this from a seller so someone sent it to me one of the companies that I work with I can't you guys know I I've done several videos unboxing and showing you guys my bags and I do work with um, a few different people that's why I'm like a seller and I'm not sure which one because like I said, there's like three or four that I work with constantly, and I don't want to confuse them and uh, give you guys wrong information. But they practically all sell the same stuff, and I recommend all the ones that I work with. So, um, oh, when I had my bucket, I forgot to show you guys this one. I took the bucket out, and this one was on the floor. It got it got left behind. This one had fell out. Um, I don't think this is a brand. This is like. I found it at Target or somewhere like that. It's like a, a just a, a pretty bag that I saw one day when I was in the store. I was like, I need that. I was a big, big wearer, wearer of like brown, this color brown caramel clothing. And like I used to, you know how fall vibes, like you will wear like the tall boots, this color. And I always wanted a matching bag. So this one has this beautiful, uh... I guess pebble detail again and it's gold this is just like a freaking huge shoulder bag and I liked it I bought it it has these cute pockets on the side with buckle detail and I feel like I had boots that had buckles on them so it just went perfect this one's probably gonna go in the goodwill pal girl we got a freaking Oh, it's a gift card. I was like, we got an American Express card in here, but this was just like a little gift card, so it's not a real. I was like, why do I have cards in my bag? And I have a paper clip. Uh, oh, I have uh, another paper clip. Clearly, I was uh, wearing these for work. Anything else in here? No, it's just a whole bunch of tissue paper. Uh, it's brown on the inside, and has a zipper back there. I was trying to see if it had like 
Oh, I know where this is from. This is not from Walmart, um, Target. This is from Avon. It's their brand, Mark. I used to sell Avon, and Mark was like one of their brands. Um, yeah, I really like this bag a lot. It's a very comfortable, but I don't use it. And anything in these side pockets? I'm telling you, I'm going to like stick this stuff because it's been in my hallway. I'm going to start putting this in the garbage bag so we can drop it off at the Goodwill this weekend. So yeah, this is a really good bag, but unfortunately I just don't use it anymore. I got to grab some more bags. I will be right back. You guys, I just want y'all to know how much work this is and I hope y'all really appreciate this because... I am never going to get my room back to the state that it ever was. Like, this going to take me forever to put all these bags back. And I don't know how I had them. And I feel like I'm going to be so just, oh my gosh. I need some lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like taking bags down and not putting them back right away. And my shelves look so empty. And I'm like, what was there? I can't remember. I feel like I'm going to have to redo my whole room. So just appreciate this girl, okay? Y'all wanted this. I'm doing this for y'all. So I have this little cute Prada Sparkly Y2K Vibes uh, Re-edition, I think is what they're calling it, bag. Uh, one of my lovely seller friends sent me this one. I have this cute Bedazzly. Sounds like a cat toy. Uh, strawberry on here it's so freaking cute that strawberry keychain i think i got that on like aliexpress or found it at like a beauty supply or something it's just pink inside i love this bag so bad i did ask them to send me the lighter pink one and when i got it i got the darker pink one which is fine because i don't discriminate on shades of pink over here i am into 50 shades of pink so it doesn't matter but they do have it in a lighter pink if you guys want it um i have this beautiful bag that i have not yet used i wanted this bag for so long um i had um one of my friends had this and i was like oh my gosh i need that bag uh so it is like a little chanel inspired bag and you turn it you open it and it's just like a little leather i don't know what the styles of chanel because i don't have chanel money uh to know what this is even called like don't they have something called like a boy boy bag or something i don't know uh but it just has the little chanel logo it did have like the camellia flower and like the actual chanel ribbon when they sent it and i just threw it in there because i was like i'm gonna use that for decor on something i'm like getting rid of chanel uh ribbon so yeah i haven't worn this yet i'm obsessed with anything pearl if you guys have watched my videos i have not taken my pearl uh tiffany earrings off in so long like i have so many earrings but i just i really like my pearl earrings um so yeah, so I love pearls. It has this kind of a strap, like a chain and leather strap together. Uh, it's a very heavy bag, like all the pearls and the chain. It's a very heavy. Um, I just and I haven't found the outfit to wear this with yet. So I don't know. I do have a wedding coming up next month, and I was thinking of trying to find. <coughs> A dress that I could wear this with because I do have black wedges with pearls on them so I thought that would look cute so we'll see another one of my favorite bags that was sent to me is this like reverse monogram LV uh, bag I forget the style of this too but this bag is so roomy <coughs> Because when I get too excited and talk too much and hot all at the same time, I start coughing. Uh, but you like squeeze these two and it opens up. And it's the reverse monogram. And it's so big. Like, you can fit so much in here and not even know. And it has another pocket back there too. And 
I like this for fall. I use this like all of the the last fall that passed. I, I just could not stop using it. I think I want to get the all monogram print instead of like the reverses when they have both. Um, but I think I want to get like this whole monogram in the same style because I just like this bag so much. And then it has a bag zipper. You can hold it here. You have the long strap. And yeah, this is a really nice bag. And then I also have like this little, uh, I really like this when I saw it. Uh, this is the, like your monogram, classic monogram print. And I saw this like Sherpa. This is like a bucket bag. And I love this handle. It's like Sherpa and it has material. And this was another bag that I wore in this um, past fall season. And I just really enjoyed this one a lot. And it has a little split in the middle for like two side compartment. Love, love, love this so much. And then it does have a strap that you can wear like that. But I was just using it like this. And I mean, you can take it off if you want. Like, but I never take them off just in case like I'm out and it's like in my way or it gets heavy or I just want to throw it on. So I never take it off. I just leave it hanging. It doesn't bother me. Uh, both of these bags I found in Tennessee um, when I went on vacation, not this past trip, but one prior. Uh, these were like the little um, gift sets, I guess they were. So it came with like the little bag and then it came with, um, oh, my nail just came off. No, I don't have time to put you back on right now. Get back on there. It came with like the little keychain puff in the box set. So it was like the bag and then the, the keychain like right there. So it was cute. It has like a little heart on it. Um, this one was like a little leopard. And it's like soft and furry. It does have a back pocket. And the inside, this part is like a little faux leather fill. And then it has the black and white Juicy Couture logo. And this is called Faux Fur Leo Crossbody Heart Poof Gift Set. <laughs> That's so long. And yeah, I really like this one. I love furry stuff. I love Cheetah and Leopard. Like I'm obsessed. I will never, ever stop liking Leopard or Cheetah. Um, this crossbody is a little short. I like it does have the little half chain that I was telling you I like when it has chain. And then, but this crossbody was, I feel like a little short if I remember. And then, like I said, I have this one too. I love this little crown and this is the pink furry one. This is what I was saying when I wanted the whole collection of the pink fur stuff. This was part of that, um, same style back pocket has the inside this one did come with a pink poof i don't know where the pink poof is but it's probably on a different bag this one is faux fur blush crossbody hard poof gift set so i got that one and then from my cherry coach collection this little super tiny little mini bag I just like the chain so much so I don't know if this was intended to be a little tiny like how they have these little micro bags or if this was supposed to be like a wallet on a chain type of deal like I don't know but it, it's cute so yeah, I don't know what time it is. I gotta go get my daughter soon. I don't know if I have time to pull out some more bags. Are there any more bags that are like close? I do have some. Here, let me grab them. I think I should reach those. Oh, maybe not. Oh, let's see. I have a drawer in my room that has some 
bags in it. Oh, I'm hot, you guys. Y'all are making me sweat. So I have my Valentine's Day coach bag. This was like two years ago, I think this one came out. The pink and the red. And um, I put this little cherry keychain on here. This came from the new cherry collection. But it has the chain with sh with like leather. So I love that. And I'm not going to open all of these, you guys. But it has like the two zips. You can hold it like this. Where it is crossbody, a shoulder bag, however you want. And then I have this year's um, the cherry bag. So this is like on their monogram print but with pink cherries. And this one came with like the little pink cherries and the pink dog tag. And it's like pink and white and the like multi monogram chain i still have the plastic on this one the strap is white on this one i also bought the pink on cherry pink with cherry and then this is like pink and red a lot of people were turned off by the red and didn't want this one but i liked it um, this one has the red cherries and the red dog tag. Still has a tag on it. This says Heart Cherry Mini Jamie, I guess. And this is powder pink. And it comes with the pink. And then I did buy the sunglass case that I have hanging on here. I love this style of Michael Kors bags. I have a couple. Um, this is like the like more boxy like a camera bag style I guess it's called and it has the heart the um, chain with the strap I feel like that like is a game changer for me if I see that I'm like I'm getting it because I the like chain always gets me um and I do have like the tags like I told you I like to keep the tags sometimes this is called the jet set and this is the fawn and ballet color so it's like a very uh, pastel mauve toned pink um, it looks washed out and like a little muted on camera again looking nude but this is actually a very muted pink I guess you would say and it does have just a big pocket and then another pocket and like I said this is one of my favorite styles of the Michael Horror bags um, have this quilted uh same kind of style as the micro cores like a satchel i mean a camera bag i guess this is quilted it's a victoria's secret it's also like a blushy tone and this one is like black on the inside and came with this little cute mirror and it does have like pockets on both sides chain and strap and it came with like the little Victoria's Secret dog tag. I don't know if that's the correct word, but I keep saying it a lot. So have that one. And then I like this style. I did get the black and brown that they came out with recently. I really like the two tone. And I like the mixed materials. Like this is like a really soft pebbled um, leather. And then this is like the little crocodile kind of skin or whatever. And just like the way they look together. Chain. Strap. And it's cool because it's like crocodile on one side and then it's like that brown. So this is a beautiful bag for fall. And this is a pocket there, the little flap. And then it has the main zipper. And <coughs> is it in here? I did buy a matching... Um, oh, I got the matching wristlet, which I didn't know was in here. I was looking for the card holder, um, but I, oh, it's in here. I bought the matching card holder and the wristlet, so I have those. And I, I did end up wearing this. I did get a chance to wear it when I bought it for fall. I 
have this juicy furry bag. So this was the black uh, faux fur part of the collection. And this is like the like the speedy style that I was saying. I call this like the LV speedy. So it has the zipper top. And then the inside is black and white. This one came with a red heart on there. I just took the red heart off because at the time I was, uh, I think I wore this around Halloween and I was like, the red doesn't go. And I have put, yeah, it was Halloween because I remember I took the little ghost keychain and I had the ghost keychain on here. And it was such a vibe. So, uh, I like the little black in the fur the bottom is like leather I wish they had feet on all of their bags and like i said this one has uh gold hardware so i love that and then i can't get this one out and i'm trying not to mess it up okay so i have this beautiful kate spade bag this was so popular as well when it came out a lot of people missed out on this one. I hate that they look dirty on camera because it's like, it's material, you know. It's like a velour, but it's not dirty at all. But it just looks like it. But it's black. It's material. It has uh, pearls on it, which I love. And I still have the tag on this one. I haven't used it yet. But this part is like leather. And uh, it has... The long strap on the inside and it does have chain on it and strap and I'm not sure I will probably wear this one not with the, the strap but oh no what is happening here look at this I have the tag on the inside the like Kate Spade this says set in stone I don't know if that's the name of it but my chain back in here before I start looking for it. Are there any more bags in this drawer that I have? Uh, so this one is called, sorry, I have on the outside of here. This one is called the Mini Riley Laurel Way Velvet. And yeah, this one was $3.59 originally. And like at the Kate Spade outlet, I think it was two eighty nine. So Kate Spade be pricey sometimes, y'all. All right, so you guys, uh, I have to go get my daughter from school. Uh, yeah, it's eleven o'clock. It's the time we leave, so I'm gonna end this here. Um, I might come back and film some more, or if not, this might be part one. So, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed so far, though, and I love you guys in case I don't come back. Bye. Okay, guys. So, I'm back from picking up my daughter from school. Oh, I'm tired. I'm hot. I got the fan on this time. Uh, let's continue. I grabbed some more bags. I have pulled this one down before I left, and I don't know how I didn't talk about it. But this one is the uh, another one of the popular juicy bags from like last year. Uh, I think it's like taffy. I got a lot of stuff in this one. I keep the matching wallet. So this one actually is the same print that came back this year. Uh, it's actually the same print, if you guys, the back you can see better. Okay, the back you can see better without the white font on there. So, um, I did have the matching zipper wallet for this one, and I have a little coin pouch with a little zipper card on there. Um... I do keep my LV planner in here too. And oh, I have a little sanitary napkin too. I was looking for, there it is. I was going to say, I know I got the tag. This one's 
called the mini tote crossbody and this is uh, that same macaroon logo print has a crossbody strap I was carrying it like this when I use it and it has a little back slip pocket to slide your phone in there nicely so I usually have this one hanging on the back of my door I started putting a lot of my accessories inside just to save room but I really like this bag a lot this style I don't have too many with this little little tiny whatever I just called it that fast and I already forgot but yeah love that bag I have more in that print that's in my closet that I still haven't got to I have so many bags not even in the closet um, we're probably not gonna make it to the closet in this video I did decide this is gonna be a part one and a part two uh, and maybe a part three but definitely not all a one video because it's it, I just have too many bags you guys um, this little Miss Dior uh, bag this is like in a a nude beige kind of a color and it's like a little quilted I just have this little hard poof on here and it has a little it says Dior like all the letters spelled Dior on there it has this little dog tag and it has a crossbody strap and then it has where you can hold it like this which is the way I was carrying it it has this kind of a flap that just like moves over to the side it doesn't zip or anything and it's a beautiful baby pink inside hey where'd this come from bombshells and bloom that doesn't belong in there I'm gonna put you in my perfume drawer there you go now you have a nice home um and yeah i have a receipt to my dentist in here also yeah so just a beautiful pink color inside i have these two pretty juicy bags that are similar so this one is on that chestnut chino print and it has this back pocket uh, it does have a crossbody strap, or you can wear it here. It zips. I do have wallets. I have actually like a lot of the chestnut chino kind of a print inside. I felt like because it has pink, I could wear this heart with it, or if I just wanted to wear a solid brown heart. So I do have those tucked down inside, um, and it's just the black and white print in there. Uh, it has. This strap belongs to a different one of my bags, and I don't know what bag this belongs. Oh, this belongs to one of my Burberry bags. I was like, that does not belong in there. Um, and then, yeah, so it has a back pocket. It's just a really big uh, hole, and it is a zip top. It's cute. I love this bag. I love the, like, brown on pink. It's another really pretty bag for the fall time. So, yeah. So, I'm going to tuck my little hard wallets back in there. And then, I like that bag so much that I saw this one on Mercaria Poshmark, one of them. And the girl was selling it for $20. And she's like, it's brand new. Nothing wrong with it. And I was, this is like a little, like, not wicker, um, weave, basket weave. I can't think of the correct terminology. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it's like a little, like, uh, yeah, kind of like a basket weave or something. But this one, I don't think she, it wasn't brand new with tags on there, but it was brand new. So I don't have the like tag to know the name of it, but has a little pocket in the back but you guys let me get closer so you can kind of see what I mean and it's like the material of like like straw hats like that kind of a bag I guess and then it has that pretty same pattern as this one and it's literally the same exact style it's just one is like this like leather and then this one is like that like straw or whatever um, and the same drawstring strap and yeah so I got 
that was cute for $20. I was like, I'm getting it. Um, this one I haven't even wore yet. I loved this one when I saw it because, like I said, I'm a leopard cheetah girl for life. And I love anything that's like tritone or like duo or like these mixed materials. I just love it. So like how this one has black and then it has like this beautiful embossing of their logo. And it has the gold details and then it's like black and brown i was like that's beautiful even when i saw it just like that i was like that's stunning the black and the brown and then when you turn it i'm like oh my god i was like i need this bag um the red the pop of red i like too um but i mean some people don't like red but this you could just take that off and just have it like black and brown so, isn't that like total fall vibes like that it's gonna be so cute um and yeah this is that like lb speedy style i like to call it the speedy style um this is they call it a satchel it's the d boss black satchel and i have another one that i'll show you guys here in a minute that's very similar uh, it has the black and the white print and like i said i haven't worn this one yet uh i don't think i have the tag but i i found this one as well uh when I went to Tennessee, I found this one, not this past trip, but the trip before is when I hauled that one. And then very recently, I found another one of their, like, deboss. This one's, like, in a fuchsia color. Uh, same thing, the speedy style, but it's their juicy satchel. Um, this one has chain and then strap. The other one's just all strapped. But yeah, if you get closer, you can see the like the boss. And this one I got at TJ Maxx. This one's called D Boss Logo Raspberry. Is the pink shade of this is raspberry. And yeah, it says Speedy Satchel on here. This one was $29.99 at TJ Maxx. And just love these bags. Um, so I have these two <laughs> oh. wow that one almost took me out it looks like the leopard one's a little bit taller right so I have those and then that uh, one that I showed you guys earlier is also that style too like the one that has this on the front alright um so I showed you guys the marshmallow uh, pastel sunrise and then I also have it in this like little PM size on the go tote. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is the PM size. It's like the smallest and I do have a little organizer in there right now, a purse organizer, but it has the thicker strap in this pretty mint color and that's just the little, I have like a little peachy organizer in there. And that's what this one looks like. I always get so many questions on this bag when I use it. Everyone always wants the link. So, yeah. I really like this print, the Sunrise uh, Pastel. And that's why I was like, I need that marshmallow bag to match. I also, you guys will see later in the video, I have this in the GM size on the go. Really big size one. So, I'll show you guys that here in a, in a little bit. I don't know. Not in a minute. Um, I have this little Michael Kors blush pink, baby pink, very pale pink. There's no pockets on the side. It's just a very simple bag with this full chain. This is like, you can wear it as like a little shoulder bag or just wear it like a little handbag. Um, I hardly reach for this one anymore. Um, you can even wear it just like under your shoulder like this, like however... Um, but yeah, this is just a very simple bag. It does have inside the bigger strap. That's the inside of it. it. has pockets here, there, and then the full strap if you wanted to wear it. As a crossbody or shoulder bag, those are the clips to put it on there. 
but yeah so this is a cute little pink michael kors bag um sticking with the michael kors i have this it's not even used yet this is one of their like studded this is the selma stud bag this is um they call this shade their pale pink this is not pale pink but this is what michael kors calls pale pink and i was i love the studs it's funny because i have another one that i'm gonna show you and that one is what i would consider pale pink but yeah i would consider this more like lemonade pink lemonade or like i don't know but not pale pink um even bubble gum i would call it but this is a messenger style and it just opens like that it does have a zip top it has a crossbody strap it doesn't have anything except a crossbody it doesn't have like handle straps or anything and it has a back zipper pocket and yeah that's about it this you guys know those like studded michael kors bags were so popular once upon a time so this is the first one that i had and this one i love like how this one has this like hand one top and see this one is like very pale compared to what they call pale pink um and you can see the difference in the designs like this is a zip top this one is a button-up one my husband and me found this one at nordstrom rack and i got this one first before i saw that one um that one i bought from a friend um this one i saw and i like ran across nordstrom because this is when these were discontinued and i was like oh my god is that a michael kors studded bag i've been wanting one of those forever so i was we were obviously not there with the intentions of spending so much money on a michael kors bag but when i saw it i looked at him and i was like i need that please um pretty sure i have the tag in here um yeah so nordstrom rack price i got it for 129.97 and it was would have been 268 and this one they call blossom and this is the dylan style and yeah i really like this one i wore it a lot of times uh it is the same color on the inside it just has a zip back to it in the inside like a zipper pocket and like I said, yeah, it's like a magnetic, like, closure. And I did tell you guys, it has a pocket on the back. You can hold it like this or with a strap. So, got those. These are two newer um, Steve Madden bags that I've got recently. You guys probably saw me haul those. These, I found both of these at, um... Marshalls in Tennessee this last time that I went uh, on vacation in April last month uh, for my birthday so this one is like the pink with this pretty blue color on it and this is $29.99 this is a popular style right now that's the back of the bag by the way the front has this like silver uh, name plate on here that says my uh, Steve Madden this was $29.99 and this one kind of reminds me of my Dior, the top flap, except the Dior one doesn't have the buttons. It just like has this flap on the side, on the top. That's the inside. But yeah, this is a really popular style right now. This one is like a fabric material. I think the other ones might be leather, but this kind of reminds me of that one that I was selling the Juicy, like a straw bag or like this one's like canvas or something. And yeah, I really like these colors. I don't think this color is a very popular. Like, everyone's going crazy for, obviously, the pink one. They have, like, this color, like a blush pink right here with, like, a different color pink strap. But I like these colors together. Like, Tiffany and pink are my two favorite colors. This, I wouldn't call it Tiffany. Um, this is more like a teal or, like, a turquoise, I would say. Aqua blue or something, but not even aqua. I don't know. Um, but it's not Tiffany color blue. It just says blue multi and this style is called B Weber uh, But yeah, I really like these colors together and I feel like a lot of like my shirts have these two colors So it would like match 
so I like it. Um, it comes with this little coin pouch, by the way, on the strap, and it is the thicker straps. And then I have, sorry guys that I'm like frowning and stuff, but I'm starting to get like allergies. Like we went out to go with my daughter and um, it was like a lot of pollen and I told you guys I'm like newer to like allergy season and it's like all in here right now. So uh, I have not taken any over the counter stuff for allergies. I just kind of deal with it, but um, yeah, so that's why I'm like, and I also wear contacts, so my eyes hurt sometimes uh, this one is the little like faulted Steve Madden this is silver wish it was gold uh, it does have a thicker strap and I like this because it has like chain on a part of the strap that's kind of cool I don't know it's something about me and chains I like it and it says Steve Madden on the strap and this is a beautiful like uh, bubble gum kind of a pink it just says uh, bingo pink I don't know if bingo is the shade of pink or is, if that's the style the styled um, or maybe it's B Nico because I feel like all the Steven bag the Steven bags the Steve Madden bags their names start with like B and then something like that was the B Weber I feel like this is the B Nico bag uh, yeah so it's like a little cute little mini shopping tote or something and this one actually has double straps, uh, so it has the thicker strap, and then it has a thinner one. So the thicker one are like the like nylon material, and then this one's like a more like a faux leather like feel. And you can see they both have like you could take them off whichever one you want to use or keep them both. They both like clip on. So it's funny because like this this style of bag, I'll probably hold it like this, and it gives you two strap options and I'm probably going to uh, use it like this so this one was $29.99 at TJ Maxx um yeah so we've run out of bags again and I have to grab another handful and yeah I will be back in a second so I got this little uh, fabric tote drawer out I keep some of my smaller bags in here I have this like velvet pink crush is what it's called drawer thing I have this on one of my cubes cube shelving back there it's just a cute way to store stuff so that you can't like see all the like hoarding stuff that we got going on but oh I forgot I had this little cute my Melody and Karomi makeup pouch I think I need to pull this forward to use but anyway I have it stuffed there are some handbags in here so we'll go over them there's also cosmetic bags i'm not going to get into all of those but um i told you guys i like this style of bags a lot this uh camera kind of style michael kors this is one that i literally use so much um i took this one with us when we went uh to tennessee i just like the fall vibes they took this in the fall time when we went in october um it has that pretty like caramel brown and then it has their like monogram print the chain with the strap and i just have the michael kors tags in here i don't see like the other tag with the name but it's just a big style pocket and these are just easy to use little crossbody so have that and then i also have this one that i wear a lot to this one i like it's like a little nylon it's like that one uh navy blue huge tote that i showed uh earlier that i was like i love that bag and i don't care how dusty it was i'm gonna keep it but the nylon ones i like because they're like wipeable um and this has a pocket oh it was already open so it just has a zipper pocket here I bought this purse for two different uh, friends. I bought them the black one. It was black with gold. And um, my husband bought me this one. I think the shade is like Dune or something. Hmm. I have some stuff in the pocket. But I have a... See, I took this one. We went to uh, Tennessee too. Because I have a Ripley's Believe It or Not admission. 
and I have a Powerball ticket. Does it say the state you bought this in on here? Like when we travel, we buy uh, lottery tickets, but this says April 23rd, 2022, which was last year around my birthday. My birthday is April 24th, and this was the day before my birthday last year. It says who's your lottery. I don't know. I feel like we probably bought this in like Indiana or somewhere, but I don't know. And we have a scratch, a scratchy card. Obviously, I didn't win, but I still have them in the bag. And then I got, my husband got me this bag. It's from Macy's. It has the Macy's tag on here, and it is the shade Dune. This style is called the Poly, and it is a large east-west crossbody. And, yeah. So, I really like this bag. I did see a navy blue one that I wanted, just like my navy blue a nylon bag that has brown but it was navy blue with black and it just looked nice but I didn't ever get it um, but I did find the black one and I got the black one for my friends um, but it's very easy to use that's a really big back pocket and then this is the main pocket and then it has more pockets there and yeah I love all the gold and the chain it's just love that bag this one I got uh, I don't know if this came in the tote bag or this was a separate one, but I think this came in a tote bag and I ended up wearing it separately. So this is a little Steve Madden bag. I got this uh, from Marshalls or TJ Maxx uh, around the fall and has pockets on the inside. I love this like pattern and this is a wipeable like faux leather. You can take the strap off. It's a very long strap and it's just the basic uh, bag. I like these little easy to use bags when you're shopping. They're just easy to use. So, Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I just forgot my friend made me this and it totally goes with this like little pink bag that I had here and how I was saying that I wanted this with an A on it and I got a little coin pouch with an E. I forgot about this little bag. That's cool. I'm actually going to stick it in there. I kind of like to you uh, put stuff inside of inside of each other. You know what I'm trying to say? So that it's easier to find when I want to use it. This little MAC cosmetic couch. Oh my god, I think I've been filming too long, you guys. This little, this was one of their holiday collections and I love this bag with a little poof to use in bags. But yeah, so this is how, after I took the top layer off, how I have all of these like bags. Oh, my daughter's crying. Hold on, guys. Alright, <clears throat> my daughter is getting uh, in trouble outside. My husband yelled at her and she had to come and tell me to tell him to be nice to her, so... All right, so I was saying uh, this is how they are like stored in here. So I was running out of room once upon a time. So I was like, this is a good little bin to store stuff in. So, hey, look at that. I have a little cute Hello Kitty tote that I forgot about too. This is before uh, everyone went all crazy over Hello Kitty. I've had so much Hello Kitty stuff for a long time. Um, but anyway, I have this cute little coach bag little coach crossbody kind of like my Michael Kors one I think these are like called camera bags or something but this is like a, a fabric one it has a back pocket it has the gold details the old school like coach logo and has a chain go figure long crossbody strap and that's just what the inside looks like. Like, I'm never going to get rid of, like, these little crossbody bags. They're just so easy to use and depends on what I'm wearing. But I do reach for these a lot. Uh, this is a very neutral color. goes with anything. And, yeah. So that's one of them. This bag is, I think, 
from Old Navy, maybe. But it's sparkly. It's beautiful. It's that camera bag, camera style bag. And I had to have it because it's sparkly. And it's just a gray bag. It has, um, I have a candy wrapper, Jolly Rancher, and a straw wrapper. But it's like, um, I don't know what you call it, but there's like no name to this bag and it's just two different side pockets. Not no name, but you know, it's not a brand, I don't think. I don't see like a label on the inside. I feel like I got this at Old Navy because I think I had some matching, um, what do you call those shoes? Loafers or something? Yeah, it doesn't really say. Oh, yeah, it's from Old Navy. It's an Old Navy tag in there. So, and it's a long crossbody strap. It's great. It has this little tassel, and I like it. Then I have this uh, bag. This was actually, I think, a free gift one year from Victoria's Secret. And it's like a silver crocodile uh bag and it's like this camera bag and i have a receipt coming out it has an entire uh chain strap an entire chain this is this chain is so heavy like you can hurt someone with this this is not a hollow chain this is like a solid chain it's crazy um and yeah i i have a bunch of receipts and a piece of Clinics in there, so I'm gonna pull those out. I have a Home Depot receipt in here, and so it's just a black bag on the inside. And yeah, I got this as a free gift, I didn't buy this, like it came with something one year, and I have actually worn it. I was like, This is a nice bag because I uh, apparently was going through a phase where I like these like camera style bags, so I'm not sure why they call camera style but I know that's the name of this style bag and then I got this little bag from 31 um and I don't know if 31 is still around or if it's as popular as it used to be but I had a friend selling 31 and then this like little crocodile print python print whatever it is oh my daughter is crying again oh my god here is my crying boo boo. Why are you crying, baby? Tell tell everyone why you're crying. Cause Papa made me cry. Cause Papa made me cry. Let's show everyone your cute little outfit. Stand up. Hey. <laughs> she's so silly, but yeah, uh, it's nap time. That's why she's crying so much. She's a little sensitive because it's time to go sleep. So. Tell him we'll be back. We're going to go take a nap. Tell him I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? What are you trying to do? Stand up again? Oh, she gave you guys a kiss. Okay, we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. We're going to probably start uh, coming to an end on part one. Uh, my daughter's about to go to sleep, but yeah, I was saying that I got this one from 31. It's a little crossbody. Um, it has two compartments and a third one in the middle that unsnaps. And it's just a really easy crossbody. Lots of room. Hardly use this one anymore at all. But that's pretty much all that was in this little ba basket uh, tote. But I did grab one more off of my shelf. This is a little uh, LV one that was sent to me. Um, you guys probably saw the video. I was like, it's weird because it only has one handle. Um, it has pretty chain. This is like a peachy pink. Comes with a thicker strap. And you can remove the strap. <coughs> and I had never seen one like this, so I thought this one was cute. And the inside is all peachy. But yeah, so... With this, I am going to wrap up part one of this video. I'm probably going to start filming it, uh, the other part, and just post them separately. Um, since I'm already like in this 
taking everything down. I'm probably going to end up finishing it after my daughter's nap. Uh, she's about to go down right now. Uh, so, yeah. While she's sleeping, I'm going to put all these bags back. And then probably later on tonight, film the rest. Uh, so, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below how it's going. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of my collection? Do I have a lot? Did you guys expect me to have less, more, whatever? Um, I would say that we're probably not even 50% done, to be honest. Um, I still have bags on top of my Ikea packs that I have not got down. A lot of them I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 that I can just see up there. I have more bags on shelves over here, over there, and we haven't even made it to my closet yet. So, yeah. Honestly, I hate you guys for this, for making me do this, because my room is going to be a mess, but I'm just joking. I don't hate you guys. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, we're going to end this because I, I feel like, uh, I don't even know. I was trying to calculate all the parts. I know one part was like 40 minutes. I remember saying that, and I've seen like two or three that were like at 20 minutes. So I don't know if we even made it to two hours, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next part. <laughs>